Welcome to another weekly nudge with me, Rachel Waite. I'm sound energy healer and spiritual mentor here to bring you some inspiration and intuition for your week. If you are new to me, I, like I said, I'm an energy healer and I use sound energy and intuition to help purpose-driven women professionals get unstuck so that you can fulfill your desires and you can make that positive lasting impact that you are here to make and today i want to help you overcome this myth i think it's a myth that's what i think that negative emotions are not a good thing that they they aren't good i want you to try and get that out of your head i'm going to explain to you very briefly what the emotions are just so that you can get it out of your head that these are something that are they are part of you or they are something to be annoyed with or there's something to fear. Let's just clear that myth for you today. So emotions, okay, they are purely and simply pure vibration and pure energy. That's what they are. So actually they are meant to, they are meant to move on. They are meant to pass on. They're meant to come in and they are meant to go out like an energy in motion. So what normally it happens when we are processing emotions, normally we feel the emotion come up, we allow it to be there and then it moves on. But what can often happen is because you, you know the emotion, you may be experiencing something at that time that triggers you or what can also happen is the emotion, when you start to feel the emotion, it also reminds you or is triggered from something in your past where you also felt that emotion and that emotion has got itself lodged. It has not been able to process, so it's stuck somewhere in your body. And all the emotions, certainly, you know, these negative emotions, when you're feeling them, all they really, really, really want is for you to acknowledge them and allow them to move on. Now, what happens is, what happens is when the, what happens, the, the emotions get stuck because we start owning the emotions like they are part of who we are. And what do I mean by that? So if you start, you know, say you're feeling, I don't know, anxious or overwhelmed or depressed or you're worried, okay, and you start really analyzing and thinking about why you're so worried, why you're so stressed, you start owning that emotion, that emotion stays trapped, or you start telling people all about how stressed you are, how overwhelmed you are, how worried you are all the time. You know, if you start, you're, you're, you're owning that emotion and you're allowing it to stay part of you and that emotion can't express itself and it can't move on. And sometimes what happens is these emotions become so familiar to us, so normal to us, that um, they just you, they, 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 they become that normal, familiar feeling. And you just think that this is how life is meant to be. And that these, this is who you are. And it is not who you are. These emotions, I want you to see them like clouds that are meant to come in and they are meant to go out. And you, who you are deep inside, you are the sun, okay? And the sun is always shining. The sun never goes out. And these emotions come in and they go out. They aren't meant to get stuck. They aren't, and it can feel like that when you're stuck in these emotions. I appreciate it can really feel like that cloud is not going to move and it can't move and you just think how on earth do i get through this so the very simple thing for you to do initially is when and this is this is what i do now so when because i obviously experience negative emotions of course i do i was very frustrated this morning um over a few things and um, but but rather than feeling that frustration and then analyzing it and getting annoyed that I'm feeling this frustrated or you know when I start sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll worry and then I'll start trying to solve the problem or thinking of ideas or or you know get annoyed with myself that I'm getting worried so that 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 emotion that wanted to show itself to me um stays buried but what I do now is you know when I feel these emotions come up I allow them 
I give them space to be there. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to allow yourself to really feel these emotions without analyzing, without thinking, oh, where's that coming from? Or what can I do about that? Oh no, I'm feeling that emotion again. I don't want to be feeling that emotion. I don't want it to be there. And no, just embrace it. This is not a bad thing. This is something for you to embrace because actually it wants to be free. It wants to move on. It simply just wants to transfer itself out of your body. And this energy wants to move on. Energy flows. Energy flows. It's not, it's not created. It's not destroyed. It's merely something that transfers. So the energy within your body wants to transfer out of your body. So allow it to be there acknowledge it feel it for a moment if you like but don't analyze it don't go into thinking about why it's there don't go into that negative spiral don't allow yourself to go down there just sit with it you don't want to close your eyes for a moment or two just sit with it sit with it allow it to bubble allow it to bubble up allow it to bubble up Allow it to be seen, allow it to be heard, allow your body to express what it wants to express and let it move on. Give it that freedom to move on. And, you know, emotions are going to come up, you know, a lots and lots and lots. So it's not just, you know, and part of it may move on that time. And then another time when you feel it again, there might be another part that wants to move on. But just see these emotions like clouds are meant to come in and meant to go out. They are nothing to be feared. They are nothing to be scared of. Um, and so let's, let's overcome that myth today that negative emotions are a bad thing. Embrace them. Allow them to show themselves. Allow yourself to express them and feel them in whatever way that feels right for you. Don't keep them buried. Don't feel that they have to stay stuffed down. This is where you stay stuck. This is where you stay in the fog. This is where you stay in the overwhelm. Allow them to be there and things will get clearer. That fog will lift. Things will move on. You will feel lighter. So sending you much love for the week ahead. I hope this resonates with you. As ever, please go to my website, rachelwaite.com, where you can find out more about how I can help you get unstuck from negative emotional, spiritual, mental blocks that really are holding you back, you know, traumas from your past, any pains you may be going through. I am the one, I promise you, I am able to release you from those so you can feel lighter and that you can move on in your life. So have a fabulous week ahead. And I will see you all next week for another weekly nudge. Take care. Bye.